John Cabrera here. Uh, I am one of the creators of the series, uh, and this is actually my second vlog. If you haven't seen my first one, uh, you can actually check that out right here. Um, okay, so we are over halfway through this series. So I guess I just wanted to pop back in, say hello, uh, talk a little bit about some of the new features, firmware updates, if you will, as well as some of the other stuff that we have in store over the next few months. Then I figured I would answer some questions that have been posted by, uh, by some of you guys here in the comments. So first, some exciting news. We finally have captions. Thank you. We have them in both English and Spanish, and you can translate the English ones into dozens of languages uh, using YouTube's new Translate Beta feature. So this series is officially multilingual. Please, please, please spread the word. Okay, so what's coming up next? Um, well, we're gonna be doing a Google Hangout right here on YouTube. Um, I'll be there, so will some of the other creators, uh, so will some of the cast. Uh, we'll be discussing the story, plot, themes, format, etc. And we'll even take some questions from, uh, from some of you guys live from the comments. Um, so that's coming up next Wednesday, November 7th. Uh, check our channel for specific times. I think it's going to be uh, in the evening sometime. So save the date um, and uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus for more reminders and updates about that and more. You can find those links in the description below. And speaking of Google Plus, if you are somebody that's eager to get into discussions about the storyline, if you're curious about what, for example, Kenneth's role in all of this is, or what's up with Simona's special powers, are they mystical? Are they rooted in science? Or, for example, where where has Topi been all of these years and why is his head shaved? Google Plus. There is an awesome little community that's actually forming there and uh, and they have some really rad theories for, for what's going on. Um, folks are cracking some of the extra content clues that we're releasing there, uh, searching for some of the series hidden messages, uh, and I'm sure that they would welcome more folks who, uh, who actually want to get involved. And I even hop into the discussion from time to time. Oh, I'm actually curating my own eight-part series of special 20-minute playlists on my own channel. Uh, there are three of those out, so so far. They focus on fewer story arcs and characters per playlist, so check those out if you feel so inclined. Uh, okay, so now on to some questions. Sward Inc. asks, why could you not just turn it off? The chip, that is. That's a good question. Uh, and the answer is you can and you can't. Uh, depends on what you mean by turn off. Uh, there are certainly different degrees of, of connectivity on this implant. For example, uh, we hear Brianna vent her frustration with Connell about his being less available on his H plus than she'd like. Now this should motivate you to stay a little bit more connected. I told you, I turn it off when I write. Let's talk about schedule. But we've also heard that this implant requires a certain degree of connectivity always. New users are warned not to stray out of reception for too long. You have to stay connected, otherwise its relationship with your nervous system will be severed. In fact, this is actually how the parking lot survivors plan to escape the lot. How long are we staying down here? At least a week. A week? No. No, no, that's, that's not gonna happen. Someone will find us before it that. It doesn't matter, it has to be a week. So while you can definitely turn the interface off uh, and even just make yourself unavailable to people on the network, the network itself is always sending data to the implant. Pilark asks, have you considered creating links to outside content in the videos themselves or are you going to give hints that allow investigations while viewing the content Thanks. Um, we actually release one piece of additional content for every episode of this series. So 48 pieces of extra content in addition to 48 episodes. All you have to do is uh, go to hplusdigitalseries.com every Wednesday after a new episodes come out, scroll to the newest episodes, Sometimes it's a, an image, sometimes it's an article from within the story world, a uh, found object, a video, riddle. Uh, and for those of you who are having a hard time filling in those missing gaps of time between episodes, for those of you who are saying, answers, please, uh, I think that you'll find some of this stuff very helpful. In fact, we consider it to be a very important part of the experience and the story itself. The Otaku Anime Girl asks, I am curious, would certain brain disorders lead to people not having H+, if so, could you elaborate? Thanks. Well, Lena mentions that she's seen videos about people not doing well with the implants. I saw a video of people getting sick 
They were going crazy. So yeah, absolutely. Now keep in mind, only 33% of the world population was actually struck during the event. The world still has a lot of people, and there are a variety of reasons why that other 66% didn't have implants, or those who did, didn't die. Drasky Vanderhoff asked a question that I know has been on a lot of transhumanist minds who've actually seen the series. Uh, are you in favor of H+, biotech, and nanotech? Why? I'm certainly in favor of some of their uses, right? Uh, now, if you're asking if I'm in favor of progress, bettering the human experience through technology, uh, the answer is undoubtedly yes. But progress is not a smooth path. It never has been. Um, it's bumpy, and I think it's going to continue to be bumpy. How bumpy? Hard to say. As bumpy as the series depicts, well, we've certainly had bumps like that in the past. Uh, and, you know, I think that we're pretty aware of how powerful our technology is and how vulnerable that makes us. Uh, these new tools of transhumanism are really no different. Technology is already embedded deep in our humanity. Whether it's under our skin or in our pockets, it's part of us. And as we strive to better ourselves as individuals and as a species, technology will be a part of that journey. Biotech is going to be a part of that journey. Nanotech is going to be a part of that journey. And so will other tools that are yet to be dreamed up. And I find that really exciting, even if at times a little confusing, a little overwhelming, a little nerve-wracking. And TRW Seema asks, can you please change the hipster glasses? Sure. How's that? All right, well, that's all from me. Thanks to everyone who's still on this journey with us and continuing to spread the word about the series. Any other questions, write them in the comments below, uh, and I'll try to answer them either here or in the next vlog. And you can, of course, find me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and if you do, please say hello. I certainly will answer any questions there, too. Uh, those links are below as well. And uh, I will talk to you guys later.